Huh? A few days ago, I found something incredibly mind-boggling while testing some setups. So let's cut to the chase and get down to business. As invaders, we've all been in this situation. A gang squad is chasing you with power stanced curve swords, wearing that hideous white mask and spamming that running L1 non-stop. There's no sugarcoating it, it sucks. But I'm here to tell you power stanced curve swords have a weird flaw that nobody is talking about, and we can exploit it. As you may know, in Elden Ring, we have a mechanic known as hit stun. It corresponds to the number of frames in which you are unable to perform an action after getting hit by an attack. There are different levels of hit stun, and here are some examples. Level 1 is like getting hit with your basic light weapon R1. Level 2 is like getting hit with a great weapon R1. And level 3 is like getting hit with an ultra great sword R1. Higher level hit stuns exist, like 7 and 9, but they are more niche such as the knockbacks and burger flips from Ashes of War like Stamp Sweep and Stamp Uppercut. Depending on what you're trying to do, the duration of the hit stun will change based on its level. For example, it takes 11 frames to roll after a level 1 hit stun, while it takes 26 frames after a level 2. In the same way, it takes 8 frames to attack using an offhand weapon or use an Ash of War after a level 1 hit stun and 25 frames after a level 2. In most cases, the running L1 from a power stanced light weapon will almost always dish out a level 1 hit stun. And here we can see this with katanas. My character is slightly staggered backwards after the two swings. That is normal. Now you might assume that it's the same with the running L1 of PSCS. As you can see, there are 4 swings within that attack. And in theory, if you add up all the numbers, a running L1 should be able to stagger even a full goat because the values exceed 133 poise. But then what in the Miyazaki is this? For some reason, the PSCS running L1 won't stagger you if you have poise anywhere within these two sweet spots, 76 to 94 and 122 to 133. In these ranges, you can freely mash out of the attack even without hyper armor because there is no hit stun. Anything between 95 and 121, you'll get staggered, and anything below 76, and you'll get staggered. Before we proceed, let's quickly cover poise health so everyone is up to speed. Think of poise as an invisible health bar. You always start out at 100% poise health, and that is chipped away when you receive an attack or a phantom hit. If you stand still and perform no actions, your total poise health is determined by how much passive poise you are. Let's say you have 80 poise. Then an attack, like a dagger one-handed R1, which does 40.5 poise damage, is not enough to stagger you. It'll take two of those hits for it to deplete your poise completely. As a side note, there isn't any negative poise. Since the moment you hit zero, it resets back to full. So how does this explain what we saw earlier? It turns out that the left hand swing for the PSCS running L1 has a hit stun value of zero. Level zero hit stuns will inflict poise damage, but they will not stagger in the event that the attack poise breaks you. All that happens is your poise is reset back to full. We can use this to explain the two poise sweet spots. 76 to 94 puts you in range of not getting staggered by the first hit, which has a level one hit stun while also getting your poise reset by the second hit, which has a level 0 hit stun. At the 95 to 121 territory, you are in range of getting staggered by the third hit's level 1 stun. But past 122, you're able to tank the third hit's poise damage, avoiding the level 1 stun, while the fourth hit will reset your poise back to full with no stun. Okay, what should you take away from all this? Whenever you face off against a PSCS user, wear an armor set with poise between 76 and 94. Now, you have the option to freely attack into their running L1 without fear of getting interrupted by the weapon swings. However, be careful, because that running L1 from an optimized PSCS build can still outtrade almost every other setup. Also, just because the attack itself doesn't stun, doesn't mean you can't get stunned by a bleed or cold status pro. If you enjoyed my content, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Also, big shoutouts to Kong, Sen, 4K, Mantis, and Rumaji for helping me out. As always, happy hunting, my fellow Reds.